Good morning, church family. My name is Rosemary Soto, and I'm going to be doing this, mor this morning's Devo with you. <laughs> a little bit of a tongue twister there. <laughs> uh, but before we begin, let's open up in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for um, this day that you have given us. We thank you for your grace and your love and your mercy father god we thank you for all the things that you have blessed us with lord and we just ask right now that you be with us this um during this time um and that you just open up our minds our hearts and our ears to receive what it is that you have for us today we love you lord and we praise you we give you all honor and glory in jesus name Amen. So a couple of Sundays ago, or a few Sundays ago, Pastor Victor um, was in Genesis chapter 6, and he shared about how Noah responded to what God had revealed um, to Noah. And I'd like to go ahead and share what God showed me through that. So the picture that is painted in chapter 6 is of a very evil world filled with sin and we are told that it grieved God's heart. We are also told that Noah, um, who was a righteous man, a man who walked with God and served the Lord. And we read that God showed Noah grace. The Lord had come to Noah and began to speak to his heart. He shared with Noah that because of the sin of the world, that he was going to destroy man and the entire world. And instead of questioning the Lord, Noah puts his trust in the Lord. Instead of getting scared and allowing fear um, to overtake him, Noah decides to trust the Lord. Um, and he uh, trusts the Lord and he knows that God has everything under control. And I can't help but to look at the current state of our world um, and wonder if today, when God looks on to the world, if his heart is grieved in the same way um, as it was then. I see so much wickedness, um, so many people lost and deceived, and I wonder if the Lord is coming anytime soon. I also begin to wonder if I am ready for the Lord to come back. Um, and am I responding to the Lord's call for the things that he wants me to do in the same way that Noah did? Hebrews 11.7 says, By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is according to faith. Here we see three things about Noah, about his response to the Lord when he revealed to him his plan for the world. God told Noah that something that the world had never seen before was going to happen. Noah showed his faith in God by doing what God had told him to do. He did more than just agree with God, he reacted. Like the verse says, he moved with godly fear. He did not hesitate, he did not doubt, he moved. And to follow up his faith, he went into action and Noah prepared to build the ark and he completed the building of the ark. I love what David Guzik says here about this. He says, real faith will always do something. The third thing we see is that his actions became a testimony for God. I'm almost positive that Noah, being a man who walked with God, was not preaching fire and brimstone and uh, flooding waters and drowning to the people all around him. He was not condemning them with his words, but it was with his godly conduct and his obedience to the Lord, despite what others were saying, um, were saying about him. This type of godly conduct is in, 
is enough to make anyone feel condemned. Just your actions alone, your obedience to the Lord, the things that you stand for and the things that you don't stand for are enough to condemn anyone for turning away from the Lord or not responding to the Lord's call. Noah was mature in his walk with the Lord. He had made up his mind that he was going to serve the Lord no matter what. And he did. We Christians need to do the same as Noah did. We are, a li we are living in a world that has turned away from God. And we need to firmly stand up for what is right and what is just. Not being deceived or overcome by the evil that surrounds us. Have we done all that we can do to help in the mission of ministering to the lost, sharing the gospel of Jesus to the lost and the broken? Are we being the light in a dark world? Are we going to find favor and grace in the eyes of our Lord? So many questions and thoughts that popped in my head for a few seconds in that Sunday service. God wants to use our lives to bring others to him and to bring him honor and glory through our faithfulness and our trust in him. When we do more than just agree with his warnings to, his, to this world about the things that are coming and we move with godly fear, with a sense of urgency to bring Christ to everyone around us, God can and will do great things.